everyone could use a little help now and then. Hey Power Director Peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director Love. You know, the Power Director Love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today I'm going to be telling you guys where to go when you need help with Power Director. So, I'm going to take you on a little brief journey across the internet to some of the sites that I like to point people to when they need help. The first site that I like to send people to is the Cyberlink Technical Support site. This, my friends, is the Cyberlink Technical Support page. Now, I will have the link to this site and all of the sites that I discuss in this video in the video description below. This is the site to go to whenever you have bugs, errors, things aren't working with the program like they need to. This is your number one spot, people. This is where you go. All right, so well, there are several different resources here on this page and I'm gonna break down a few of them. Now the first section I'm gonna discuss is called general FAQs. So frequently asked questions you can see here for technical support for other different topics. Over here on the right, we have other support. This is the main spot where you, know, you can spend the majority of your time. So if you wanna make sure that your software is up to date, you can click on this software update button and then if you pick your product, which for this circumstance will be Power Director, then you'll be taken to a page where you can see all of the update patches for the program. So it goes down all the way back. Just keep going. So depending on which version of the software you have, you can make sure that you have the latest patch or the latest update for the software here on this page. So usually, if something's not working the first thing you want to do is check and see hey do i have the latest version of the software on my box then you also have installation and startup so if you bought the the program and you're having problems installing it or starting it up this would be a great place to go uh, if you move the uh, program to a different computer or laptop and you lost your cd key this is the place you can go for that uh, you can contact support to get assistance in multiple different ways. So if you click on contact support, then you're given some options here. So you got customer service, then you've got technical support. You click on the option that you need, and then it opens up a page where you can send your information or your question or whatever you need help with to support, and they will get back to you. And then you have phone support. So if you need to speak with someone over the phone, you can go ahead and get support that way as well. So these are the ways that you can contact them to get support. Now, based on the contact method you choose, you could have a longer wait time between responses, okay? Of course, if you choose phone, it's immediate. If you choose the other ones, probably gonna take a little bit of time for them to get back to you. So that is my little roundup of the Cyberlink technical support page. The next site that I send a lot of people to when I'm not able to help them out is the Power Director Forum. This is the Cyberlink Community Forum. Now this is the most comprehensive gathering of knowledge on the software, if you ask me. This is the place to go if you're trying to find answers for just about anything that has to do with Power Director. It is a great resource and a great community of individuals who band together and work together to help each other out with the software. I love this forum. So here on this page, you can see that there's multiple products that Cyberlink has. So there's forums for multiple products. But if you're looking to go to Power Director, you have a Power Director 16, you got Power Director 15, and then you got previous versions of Power Director. So based on the version of Power Director that you have, you would enter into the appropriate forum. So we're gonna go into the Power Director 16 forum. If I click on this, it takes us into the forum. Now, at this point, I'm not logged in to the forum. So I can go in here 
and I can look at different categories. I can view questions. I can view responses. I can do all of that, but I cannot interact with anyone in the forum unless I register for the forum and I'm logged in. Okay. Once you register and you get logged in, then you can start your own threads and post your own questions. You can uh, answer questions. You can interact with other people and respond and start posting all of that good stuff. Uh, before you do any of that posting and responding and things, I recommend that you go ahead and read this post here, read this post before posting. So you know, all the rules of the forum. Okay. Um, then once you do that, you're good to go. Now, another piece of information or advice that I have is if you need help with something and you're going to post a question on this forum, the more information you give to the uh, community, the easier it will be for individuals to help you with your issue. So if you say something like, how do I fix my preview screen is black. That's not enough information for people to help you out. They need to know things about your system, like, uh, your processor, uh, your processor speed, uh, your graphics card information, uh, your, your memory on your system, uh, the file type that you're using, the codec of the file, all of that type of things, or all of those types of things are things that they're going to need to be able to help answer questions for you. So the more information you can provide, the better. Now, don't fret if you don't know that type of stuff, then just say, hey, I'm, not, I'm a newbie at this PC stuff. I don't know if there's any other information I need to provide. Please let me know how to find it and I'll find it and I'll give it to you. You know, just work with them and they'll work with you to help you out with the, whatever questions that you have. But once again, whether you're trying to learn how to do something, whether something's not working, whether you just want to talk with like-minded people who are interested in video editing and power director, this is the spot to go. Another site that I direct a lot of power director users to go to is the Facebook power director users group. Bask in the glory of what is the Facebook power director users group. This is a great community of power director users who are just here to help each other use the software. That's what this community is about. Sharing their information, sharing their knowledge, sharing their videos and just having fun. I, I love this group. Um, it's a lot of great people on here who dedicate time to just checking out what's going on in the group and helping each other out. It's a great place to, to be if you use Facebook. So the first thing that I would say is that when you try to join this group, there will be three questions that you need to answer in order to join the group. Now, if you don't answer those three questions, your application will get declined. So make sure you answer those three questions. It's a simple thing just to make sure that they're real people joining the group who really want to uh, interact with one another and not just people just join the group just for the heck of it. Uh, usually if there's people just doing that, they won't answer the questions. So we decline those um, submittals to join. So make sure you answer those three questions. After you do that, what you want to do is read this post at the top because it tells you about the rules of the group. Okay. So make sure that you read this because you don't want to be banned from the group for not following the rules multiple times because I will ban you. Okay. I'll get my ban on if needed. Now, if you follow the rules, you got nothing to worry about. Now, some of the things that you'll see on here is a place to promote your videos. So if you have a video like on YouTube or Vimeo and you want to share that link with other people to get their feedback or to get views or likes or whatever, you share those links here in this video promotion thread. If you share that link somewhere outside of this thread, it's going to get deleted because that's one of the rules of the group. So make sure that if you want to share your videos that are links, make sure you put those links here. And as you can see, there will be a bunch of great videos on here that people are sharing and looking at and all of that good stuff. So you can share those here. Now, besides the fact that people share their videos here, people ask questions and they get help from one another. So you have here a question from uh, one of our users who's using the site a lot, Chris Lauterbach. Um, 
and you got people asking for feedback on, you know, can I still use the MOV export option? Uh, people trying to figure out, hey, can I do this in PowerDirector 16? All types of questions are asked here. So if you got questions about uh, the software, whether you can do something or not, uh, effect you're trying to do, uh, if you're having trouble with the software, technical issues, there's people here who are willing to share their knowledge and their experience with you and help you out if they can. So this is a great place to go on Facebook if you want to interact with the community of PowerDirector users who are there to help you out. And that is the Facebook PowerDirector users group. All right, PowerDirector peeps, that's it. Those are the sites that I recommend you guys go check out whenever you need help with PowerDirector. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.